Okay, so it is 4.42 a.m. Wednesday, February 17th here in Japan. We're going to do a microbiology question right now, very exhilarating. Uh, we start off, this first sentence tells us flatulence, that's just the medical term for passing gas, okay? Loose, foul-smelling stools, watery stools. Foul-smelling for GI diarrhea terms, foul-smelling implies steatorrhea, okay? For steatorrhea, the question can say floaty stools, okay, loose floaty stools, or foul smelling, okay? Now, foul, why do I write foul smelling watery stools? It's because the NBME does that. Very weird, okay? You say like, well, is it is it steatorrhea or is it watery? Which one is it? They can either say foul smelling floaty stools, they can just say foul smelling watery stools, but this is still referring to steatorrhea, okay? Now, which is just fat in your stool. And this patient has a diagnosis of Giardia. So Giardia is a single cellular protozoan, eukaryotic, and it causes a malabsorptive diarrhea. So it's waterborne. If they ask you where you get it, like fecal oral or waterborne, fecal oral, wrong fucking answer, okay? It's waterborne. So lakes, scuba diving, all right, usually outside the United States. Uh, doesn't have to be, as in this case, uh, went to a lake house, so in the wilderness. And... But Giardia will line the small bowel and cause a malabsorptive diarrhea, hence why we have the steatorrhea here. And it's treated with metronidazole, okay? Mechanism of action metronidazole causes the formation of toxic metabolites that damage DNA. And the mnemonic for what metronidazole is used to treat is get gap on the metro, okay? G-E-T-G-A-P on the metro. Sounds weird, doesn't matter, helps us remember. So our first G is Giardia, as in the case here. E, Entamoeba histolytica. T, Trichomoniasis, so Trichomonas vaginalis. Uh, the second G is Gardnerella vaginalis, which is our correct answer here, causes bacterial vaginosis. A is anaerobes below the diaphragm, such as with diverticulitis. P, used to refer to pseudomembranous colitis. Now we use oral vancomycin first line for pseudomembranous colitis. Don't choose metronidazole anymore. P can also refer to second line for H. pylori, okay? It's not first line. Metronidazole is not first line for H. pylori. So get gap on the metro. Obviously we can talk a lot about all these organisms, all the treatments, okay? But um, let's just stay focused here. So we look at choice A, Babesia microti, Wrong fucking answer, okay? Babesia is actually treated. You don't need to know this for you, Assimili. I'm just telling you, some of you guys want to hear it. Uh, it's a tovaquone and azithromycin. Uh, severely ill patients can get clindamycin and quinine. You don't need to know that treatment combination for, for Babesia. What you do need to know for Babesia for you, Assimili, which is high yield, is that it causes a hemolytic syndrome similar to malaria in a patient who has not left the United States. So for example, if they show you a ring form, they don't have, Babesia classically causes a Maltese cross, but they can show you a ring form, okay? Similar to malaria. So if you get a question where it's, dude has a weird hemolytic disorder, they show you a ring form, he went to Africa, answer, malaria, plasmodium. Second question is, dude has weird hemolytic disorder, they show you a ring form, he has not left the United States, answer, Babesia, okay? Babesia is, is, is spread by Ixodes tick, same tick that spreads Lyme disease, Borrelia, Okay, Borrelia burgdorferi, and also uh, Ehrlichia chaffinsis, which is our second answer here. Ixodes tick, not in fucking Africa, right? So you're not going to get Babesia from having gone to Africa. It's going to be malaria. So Babesia, United States, uh, spread by Ixodes tick, same as Lyme disease. U.S. Emily can ask you that. They can give you Babesia questions. Say uh, the vector that spreads this organism also spreads what? It's Lyme disease. Choice B, Ehrlichia chaffinsis. Now. This is going to present similar to Lyme disease in terms of causing a rash in someone who is bit by a tick. Uh, however, the detail they will give you in 100% of questions, at least questions I've seen, is the patient's phagocytes will have berry cluster organisms inside, okay, or morulae inside. So for example, let's say 24-year-old dude sleeps, sleeps with his dog, uh, the, a tick was found on the dog. The guy has a rash, circular rash on his arm. It's not a target rash. You don't have to have a target rash in Lyme disease either, but it sounds similar to Lyme disease. And then they tell you his phagocytes have morulae or berry cluster organisms. Answer, Ehrlichia chaffinsis, 
we treat with doxycycline, okay? And Gardnerella vaginalis, we said metronidazole, bacterial vaginosis. So this is going to cause uh, a fish-like odor on the whiff test, KOH prep. It's classically clue cells. So vaginal squamous epithelial cells covered slash studded in bacteria. That's a high yield image as well. But uh, we are going to treat that with metronidazole. So that's our answer. Choice D, Paragonimus westermani, is a type of trematode or fluke. It's a worm, a parasite, helminth. Uh, we treat that with praziquantel, okay? And Paragonimus westermani we get from crab meat. Uh, Rickettsia rickettsi causes Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Treat with doxycycline. So very high yield, Rickettsia rickettsi, classically. Even though Rocky Mountain spotted fever is the name, you classically get it east coast of the United States. And it causes a centripetal rash, which means it starts distally and moves in towards the trunk. Classically, palms and soles rash. But I've seen NVMe questions where they'll say wrists and ankles. Okay, it's like, oh, wow, wrists and ankles. But they'll say it moves in toward the trunk and that uh, the guy uh, had been bitten by a tick. Okay, or bit by a tick. So dermacenter wood tick, not the Ixodes tick that spreads rickettsia rickettsi. But once again, that's doxycycline. So your take-home point for this question, we can obviously talk about these things for a while. This is just simply an image of a cyst of Giardia, uh, a unicellular eukaryo. It's a protozoan. We treat with metronidazole, okay? Causes the formation of toxic metabolites that damage DNA. Giardia classically causes a malabsorptive diarrhea with, with steatorrhea, okay? And it's waterborne. So that's it for this question. That was a short recapitulation. If you liked this, I'll obviously make more content. So subscribe to my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.